90 miles north of Atlanta Where the Kusawati lay They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills In a town called Ella J Welcome to Ella J, folks, and thank you for tuning in to the Sherry Show on ETC Television. Thank you, and now it's my turn. Welcome to Ella J. Welcome to Music Mania today because we are celebrating the, <clears throat> um, I, I guess it's a big deal, the move, movie about Elvis. And so I wore pink and black today in honor of Elvis, my favorite entertainer, not to be confused with the Beatles, his favorite entertainer. So is that right? That's Are we correct. right? We're yes, dead on. Yes. We're dead on. I'm the Elvis yeah. girl. He's the Beatles guy. And music is, these mountains were full of local families sitting around <coughs> on the porches Sunday afternoon, pulling off what they did. And what they did was a, an amazing instrument, um, a fiddle, uh, you know, a banjo, a guitar. These family members just sat at home, and Dwight, did most of those people teach themselves to do this? They did. They sure did. They like just, your family? Yes. They played around with it until they figured it out and learned them chords and learned them songs and made it happen. Made it happen. Now, I'm going to go over some names of families, and when I, when I look at these, one of them um, I never got to hear, but you did. And maybe in the diggings, it would be so nice if we could come up with some of the old music from these folks that hasn't been played on ETC, because ETC pretty much started featuring old music coming out of the mountains from the Chansey family, the Cantrell family, Barry Abernathy. Now, what do you think about Barry Abernathy? Barry Abernathy deserves top, top awards. He is really something else. He is something else. Really something else. Yep. And somebody else that you really admire, his musical ability, Al Hoyle. Tell me a little bit about that. They have the best, uh, I don't know if they're still playing, I guess they are. Uh, it's called the Hoyles, and it's his two sisters, Cindy and Lisa, and his brother, Eddie Hoyle, and Al. One of the best bluegrass bands that there ever was. It just couldn't get any better. And, and they are, they're all from right here in L.J. Grew up right over in East L.J., I reckon. <laughs> And what about Bill Burkett? Tell me a little bit about Old him. Oh, Bill. Tell you what, Bill Burkett was a very talented individual. Now, Bill was Bill, and we know that, but you got to take your hat off to that fella. He, he actually, in 1971, he taught me how to play the buckaroo and the groovy grub worm. <laughs> and it was, it was amazing what that boy could do. He could play guitar. He knew the neck. He could play. That's awesome. And the High Shoal Singers, you've never heard of them, but I know Debbie uh, very, very well. I love it. Sam she's Sanford Fountain's wife, yeah, and her family, her family had a group, and it was the High Shoal Singers, and they actually did the really old country, good, good gospel music that we all, that's kind of what we cut our teeth on. That's what we learned to like first, and then we went to the other music. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, Broken Ground, the Chastain family one of the largest families in Gilmer County, and they are all super musically talented. Lord, yeah, what harmony. And I understand they came and talked to you about doing their CD, but then they went to Nashville, and I'll just say, mistake, mistake, this man can master anything. He can master well, anything, so. <laughs> so they, uh, they did come talk to me, and uh, I heard some of their music, too. They, they have very tight harmony, very good singers. Amazing, Oh, amazing. and they, they, didn't they write their songs? They wrote 200 they songs. Yeah. 200 yeah. songs, yeah. I would have loved to produce that. Now, there are two ladies that I haven't had the pleasure of, but you got to hear the music of Martha and Marjorie Sanford, the Sanford sisters. When I was a little bitty boy, they'd take me to Crossroads Church, and up there was my Grandpa Bill in that brown suit, and my Aunt Martha and Margie yes. singing them gospel songs. <coughs> they sung, they, they were called the Sanford sisters. And they could really harmonize. They, they, they've sung in every church in North Georgia and probably in some other states too, I don't know, but they sung everywhere. And then a group that no longer is together, but you said they had amazing, amazing musical talent, the Friendship Trio. The Friendship Trio was something else. I produced a record for them. It's called, I think it's uh, just Friendship Trio. and. Uh, I can't remember, but I think if it has a name, I forgot it. But uh, great harmony 
and uh, great musicianship, just a bunch of good stuff. And I must tell you, I got lucky or something. That's a good production. That's a <laughs> good production on that CD. And uh, it next makes you wonder you come, why people go to Nashville. Well, next time you come, bring it in and let's play some of their I'll music. Do that. Yeah, that would I be would awesome. Do that. Heck yeah. We love being able to share what happened in these mountains. And truly, what happened in these mountains were families were sitting around on their porches <clears throat> on a Sunday afternoon after a big old dinner, and they were just picking and grinning. Yes. And if we start with the Sanford family, if we talk about your mama and her talent, and then your daddy talented, and then your daughter more talented, so here we come. It's, it's a, a line of here's one, here's one, there's three generations. Yeah, they're, they're all a bunch of singers. And uh, my daddy and mama, we'd all sit around used to the old, old home place and sing. And I couldn't sing for laughing for some, I was a little bitty kid, but I would crack up, daddy would sing bass, and it would tickle me to death, okay? <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. But we was okay till Daddy, Daddy come in with the bass line, and he could nail it now. He nailed it right on the nose. Yeah. Mom would be singing some harmony part, and I'd be singing whatever. Maybe a brother or something might join in every now and then. But when Daddy, he'd get this look about him when he'd do the bass line, and I'd crack up. Yeah. I'm about to crack up right now just thinking about it. He was he was a funny man, Amon and, Sanford. And he left here too soon, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He died at 71. That old cancer got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when we look at Aunt Margie still here, yeah. can you get her to sing with you? I'm working on it. <laughs> Are you I'm working, working on it? I'm working on it. I'm not getting a whole lot. I'm not getting a whole lot of cooperation, but I'm working on it. You might just see a video of me and Margie singing one of these days. Would that not be an awesome keepsake, it an awesome be. memory? And I've yeah. told her, but I'm not getting a whole lot of cooperation. Well, what should we do? I don't know, but don't I'm know. going to turn up the gas on this. <laughs> I love it. I love yep. it. Yep, we're going to get I this love done. It. Well, today we're going to feature music, and uh, last week because we had uh, a day off, and and y'all uh, hate to do this, but every once in a while I'm having doctor's appointments, I'm having to run back and forth, yada yada yada. So we're doing some recorded stuff, and last week you and I took the time to record some songs with you, and the first song you really really loved doing, and you did it publicly in the seventh grade, yeah. was all I have to offer <clears throat> you is me. Yes. Now, why did your daddy just love that song and he encouraged you to learn it? Why did you learn that one first? Well, he did love it. We loved Charlie Pride back yeah. at the house. Oh, used yeah. To, back oh, in yeah. the old days. And uh, I, I learned that song probably one of the very first ones, uh, aside from this one. <laughs> learned that first, I guess. <laughs> there you go. But it's one of the very first songs that I did, and it's all I have to offer you is me. and. Uh, Sung it for the seventh grade graduation. And when you did that, and I'm thinking about seventh grade kids. Most seventh grade kids are a little bit bashful, a little bit backward, a little bit shy. Was that you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. what happened to the shyness? Had it's to gone. Give it all up that night. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> had to had to had to give it up and and do the performance. It yeah. was uh, it was a. It was a real, real special night. Everybody was there. That whole, that old gym. If any of you remember the old gym that we had, it didn't echo that night because it was packed full. You couldn't cuss a cat without getting <laughs> hair in your mouth. <laughs> That's awesome. Now let me ask you about something because when I first met you, and I, I've admitted to everybody, I had no idea who you were. Number one, number two about your talent. And when you said you've heard my song and I said, no, I've never heard your song. Since then, I've heard a lot of your music and it's, there's such a great variety. That blows my mind because from, do you like Kiss? Love Kiss. I've okay. seen them in concert. Okay. I'll tell them okay. Time. You like Kiss, you like <clears throat> Credence, you like Hank Sr. You like such a huge variety. I've said it, I think I said it on the last show, I love everything from the Chuck Wagon Gang to Van Halen. Yep, yep, that's the truth. Yep. And, and I think that's why when I hear from people who are watching, one of the things I did last week, you had given me a CD about seven weeks ago and I hadn't been able to listen to it because my daughter, you know, everybody knows she died right at Christmas, it was her birthday. Um, it was really, really tough for me, so yeah. I, you kept asking me, have you heard this, have you heard this? And I kept telling you, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet. Yeah. And then I played it, you played it for me, the day we did the video about cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And I just sat there and I was kind of like, oh my gosh. Yeah, well. Then I put it on Facebook and it got amazing numbers of hits and people were saying, I'm sitting here in tears listening to this for my 10th time. Yeah. And I said, oh my goodness. So we're gonna end today's program with 100 degree weather and a Christmas song. Yeah, Don't you not? think that's perfect? Christmas in June. <laughs> that's right, I yeah. think it's perfect. It's called Merry Christmas, Ella J. And it's 80% a true story. It is 80% a true story. And I think that's what's so touching about it. So, yeah. so we're gonna share that. Today is gonna be all about the music of the mountains. It's about the memories of the music. And it's, we're gonna get a little in-depth look at how he learned to play all the instruments he plays because every time I would say, well, can you do this? He'd pick it up and do it. And then I'd say, I bet you can't do this. He'd pick it up and do it. <laughs> and I finally quit asking, you can do it all, right? So he can. And it's, well, thank you. have you ever had any formal lessons? No, never, never had a guitar lesson. Except never. for Bill Burkett showed me that. <laughs> never. The buckaroo. It's crazy. 1971, it's crazy. that old, that big old house is still behind the courthouse up there now. It's some kind of museum. Yes, beautiful. They, they used to rent out rooms, and Bill lived there in 1971, and I met him. And uh, we was up there in his little room, and he showed me the buckaroo and groovy grub worm. And you did it. Now, can you play us to a commercial? And we're going to yeah. go to a commercial, and then we're going to come back. We're going to take you from there to All I Have to Offer You is Me by him and um, Charlie Pride's, one of his best number ones. Yes. So here you go. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Jay, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. I sang in front of the whole gymnasium up there, the old gym we used to have, for the seventh grade hour, rather, seventh grade graduation. Miss Marie Hope put me out there in front of everybody, and 
The place was packed full of students and moms and dads and aunts and uncles. If you were there that night, comment. If you weren't there that night, then I'd like for you to comment. And it's called All I Have to Offer You Is Me. It's one of the very first songs I ever learned. Before you take another step, there's something you should know about the years ahead and how they will be. You'll be living in a world where roses hardly We've had a little bit of live music. We're double dipping some stuff today because we're recording some other stuff. We're enjoying the music from, what day did we do that? Recording it was, last? It was Thursday, uh, last Thursday. Was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm, it's Thursday. Yeah. And it's perfect setting, perfect timing, music that is truly timeless. Now let's talk a little bit about the history of you and, and like when I said, can you play guitar? And you said, uh, -huh, but you didn't tell me all the other things. Do you remember the time frame when you learned different instruments? Well, I just started on up into the guitar part. Uh, I had a friend that left a, a bass guitar at my house, and uh, I was playing around with it, and I figured out something. I said, hey, these top four strings are the same thing as the top four strings on the guitar. <laughs> So I got things going, I got ideas going, and I learned that, and I figured out that that bass is down there below, it's down on the bottom. It's where the drummer's kick is, and you'd better keep it there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I learned it, and I started to, well, I already knew how to play drums before I ever saw a set, and that's the truth. Now, explain that to <clears> me. <throat> I learned drums on couch arms, kitchen tables. <laughs> And uh, whatever, somebody would be trying to talk to me and I'd be sitting there working out beats <laughs> and uh, got on mom's nerves and daddy's nerves and everybody to... else's nerves. Yeah. And uh, they'd be watching movies and I'd be over, <laughs> you know, doing things. And yeah, I did. I learned, I knew how to play drums before I ever saw a set. I'm playing the drums on all of my music 
my CDs that you hear, I do the drums, except for that first gospel. And uh, Nene did that. But anyway, that's... Okay, if you do, go through the process of doing your CD, because your gospel was your number one seller. Yeah. You had a gospel that just did amazing. Yeah, it and, did real good. And when we think about that, you put the songs together, the song choices. There's your song choice, you do the vocals. And then you get into the music and the instruments. And anything from a guitar to what else did you play on it? On the gospel music? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I played, uh, I played all what I call the timekeeping instruments, uh, except for uh, that first one, as I mentioned. And uh, I, would, I called in some people. I had, uh, gosh, what's that boy's name that played with Barry? Uh, Alan Perdue. Lord, what a musician. He plays the mandolin on that first gospel record. And uh, Can you play the mandolin? No. Really? And this time I really mean it. Are you yeah. serious? No, I can't play I have mandolin. asked you something you can't the play. The problem is that tune's like a fiddle, and guess what else I can't play? <laughs> a fiddle. A fiddle, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, so uh, Alan Perdue and uh, Larry Motley played the piano on that first gospel record. And Mr. Wilson Frady, let's not leave him out, 83 years old, he did that harmonica. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, and I did all the rest, and I sort of put it all together and, and you know, mixed it and done it like that. And, uh, and you tell me in sessions long ago, everybody got together, and until everybody got it right, it had to be re-recorded, oh, yeah. re-recorded, re-recorded. Lord, yeah. But now you do it in tracks, it's so called it's called multi-tracking. Yeah. Yes, very, very confusing situation if you're not familiar with it. It's uh, used to, if anybody messed up anywhere, everybody had to start all over. And uh, Kind of like some of the bloopers I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. uh, but today, you know, uh, well, the Beatles uh, really got started. Les Paul is actually who started all that. But the Beatles really, really brought it to light. And, uh, you know, record. What, what's good to do is like record what I said, your timekeepers. Record bass, drums, and rhythm if you can together. And then add in instruments. And that way you got the, the structure, you know, uh, sound on it. And uh, it's an interest, interesting thing. I've, I've got some of my songs include, Lord, no telling how many. Uh, tracks that Elvis uh, I did uh, Suspicious Minds, <clears throat> Holy Mackerel. It's it's got a lot of music in it, and I did all of that, every piece of it. And let's talk a little bit about last two weeks ago. Everybody told the steel player he did a really good job, and they really enjoyed the steel. If you take the steel out of country music, it changes things oh, a bit, man, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. got a real hot guitar player that knows how to bend them strings, you can get by. Yeah. But steel is is really <coughs> a necessity for for I think for country music. That guy's name was Tracy Kirkpatrick. He's good. He's a good steel player. Yeah. Well, I understand. We also have another good steel player around, and his name is Dwight Sanford. Well, I do play a little. <laughs> Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. <clears throat> I did the steal on that Hank Williams tribute. Yeah, he did. <laughs> How do you like me now, Ella J? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Let's let's talk a little bit about you. Were just Dwight Sanford, and then all of a sudden you became Mr. Ella J. How did that yeah. happen? Yeah. Oh happen? yeah, you want to hear this one, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I think it was you that it came up me. with that, am I right? Mr. Ella J. Well, I don't know who else better fits the bill. I did write the song. <laughs> That's right. And, and, uh, and then you call me and you're at the office and you're ordering a tag that says Mr. Ella J. Yeah, <laughs> and I said, I've created your a idea. monster. It's here now. We brought it with us. <laughs> yeah. Thought we'd better have it on the show. Yeah, yeah, but it, but it yeah. so fits the bill, and honestly, I felt like such a dummy when you said, you've heard my song, yeah. and I said, uh-uh, <laughs> and yeah, I really I hadn't, but I have now. That L.J. song, that's pretty cool. I, I like that cool. song. I, okay, in, in sequence of how you wrote the songs, what was the first great song that you wrote in your mind? What, what is number one for you? What's the number one that you think you wrote? Lord, because I've, I've listened a, to all of them, yeah, I've and you know a lot. what my choice is. Uh, the one I'm most proud of. Mm -hmm. It'd have to be "Welcome to Ella J." There you go. There I you bet go. you'd have wrote that too if you'd known how, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> there 
There you go. It's a good song. I and like I that. love that you included the telephone bills because yes. ETC yes. is perfect for that. So I was so excited. I, I said, that is yeah. so cool. Yeah. And that's really the truth because in these mountains, people do come out to pay their telephone bill. They do. They still come out and they plan mm -hmm. their beauty shop, their telephone bill, and, and they're eating dinner and they're getting their groceries. It's kind of an all day thing. So that's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Don't you love this little town? We love this little town. It is so love cool. Love this little town. Now, can we invite folks to a little get together that's going to happen? Yes, we can. Would you like to do that? Or I would you want like me to do, to do that. that? You go ahead. July yes. the 4th, beginning at 5 p.m., one hour before the parade, we're going to have refreshments, open house. We are marketing a beautiful building and a beautiful cabin in downtown LJ that we would love to invite you to going to be live music from Mr. Ella J and the band Ella J. And we're going to have, I've got several hostesses helping me. We're going to have food, refreshments. It's going to be fun. We're going to do some giveaways. You might win a CD or two. You might win a few other things. And we're going to give away some cool stuff. And one of the coolest things we're going to give away, and it's really cool, is ice cream certificates from the yeah. Dairy Queen. So Who don't like Dairy you. Queen ice cream? Who don't like Dairy Queen ice cream? Yeah. We're giving away sausage biscuit certificates and ice cream, and this is all compliments of your local Dairy Queen who have been sponsors of us for a long, long time. So thank you very much to them. So beginning at 5 o'clock, and again, the parade starts at 6, so you'll have an hour of music before the parade, and then you come back after the parade. And Dwight, tell them the best thing about where we're having the event. Well, number one, let me let me throw this in. Yes. Tracy Kirkpatrick, the steel player, will be there Yes, that he day. will. <laughs> He's going to be playing the whole show with us. He's amazing. You'll like that guy. Yeah. And we got a four-ton AC unit in that building <laughs> up there, do. and we're going to have it down there low, okay? <laughs> Come on in. Don't stay out there and burn up. Come in, hang out with us, enjoy some good food prepared by this lady here, Sherry Martin. It's going to be fun. <clears throat> it's going to be a fun day. We're just going to be real up close and personal. We'll be right yeah. there in your face. Yeah. You can walk over and talk to me while I'm deciding what song to play. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you can meet Tracy, and you can meet the boys, Jeff yeah. Welts, Mitchell Aaron. We can, we can play you some country music. You just yeah. come on down. It's going to be fun. And, and we're excited to do this on this hot day because truly people will want to get out of the weather a little bit because the weather's been brutal. It's, it's brutal. Did it's I mention the four ton? <coughs> I, I mentioned <laughs> that. Did, yeah. I brought that up. Yeah, yeah okay. I can't All right. wait till he sees it's going to be <laughs> cool and collected in there, <laughs> yeah, people. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And again, this is located just across the street from Ace Hardware here in downtown Ella J. And it is literally walking distance to the parade route. It really so is. Yeah. It's the place to be. Yeah. yeah, it's Absolutely. the very place to be. Absolutely. Yeah. And I do understand that um, there's going to be some rock, some gospel, some bluegrass, some any kind of thing, because you can do a variety. Now, if you named your band members, who likes what avenue of music? Who likes what? Drummer, what does he like? Drummer, he likes everything. His name is Jeff Welch. He's, I call him Robo, because it's <laughs> Jeff, middle name Robo, and his last name is Dean, but not really. I just say that. You're but anyway, crazy. Jeff Robo Dean, get it? You're crazy. And, uh, and Mitchell Aaron, he, he's all laid back. Mitchell don't know what to think about me sometimes. Uh, he don't say much. He's real Mitchell real likes contained. to do... Pass me by. Isn't that what he did yeah, the other people, day? Yeah, he sings pass yeah, me by. Yeah, and, yeah. And he's not as outgoing as I am. I'm always embarrassing him, I think. <laughs> but, you know, it pays the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and your favorite music, Beatles. We've talked about Beatles, that. Beatles, yes, Beatles. yes. Do you look back at Elvis, though, and understand that he really did, he, he laid the track for everybody? Well, he, he did all that bebop stuff. He sure did, yeah. The Beatles changed the game, though. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand. I they do changed understand. the game. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it went from hop, hop, hop to something else. <laughs> yeah, 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 it did. <laughs> you know? It did, it did. Yeah, and, uh, but Elvis, no, heck no, Elvis is, uh, that, that stuff, uh, I'm, I'm strange, you know that. You've already gotten to know me enough yes, to realize enough. I'm, yeah. I'm a different breed, <laughs> I guess. Is I don't that. know, but. <laughs> That stuff that they did at, at what was just the Phillips guy, Sam Phillips, yeah, yeah, out in Memphis, Memphis all yep. those recordings, man, precious, can never be touched. 
what a sound. Mm -hmm. And old Elvis is right in the middle of that. Yep, yep. And he learned in the gospel black churches. And that's what he yeah. said, you know, and, and you could feel that and you could you yeah. could see that. And then when he got to television and they tried to tone him down, well it's kinda like when I brought you to television, <laughs> I tried to tone him down. I can't. <laughs> He is what he is. Yeah. What you see is what you get. You know, I told Roger what Fudge I that am. about me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, well, we have some fun. We and do. And we get things done. We do. We do. And, and I think that's what it's about. The music does make the man, but the man, Elvis, made the music. Lord, now, yeah, Elvis. When we look at these mountains, the mountain families um, from Ralph Chancey, think about how many years. He and his family picked and, and just, what an amazing guy. What an amazing guy. And now they're gone. I actually have some rare music recorded live of Ralph Chancey. I got that in the vault. Could we bring that to ETC? Well, it's just a possibility. Oh, well, good. Know, we could do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. another peach cobbler would get us some music, maybe you something. You never know. <laughs> or sweet potato. You Everybody's know, potato. you never know. You never know. Yeah. You never know. Well, we yeah. want to share a little bit of music now. Um, years and years ago, I was driving a 66 Chevelle and I was headed to Blue Ridge. Headed mm -hmm. to Blue Ridge, headed to Blue Ridge. And I always listen to my eight track song, Country Roads by John Denver. Mm -hmm. John Denver is one of those that you absolutely loved his music. Love John Denver. Love him. And, and you sat down the other night and you were just picking and I said, oh, you need to do that song. There are so many songs in different avenues that work for you. You can do the rock and roll, you can do the country, you can do acoustic, you can do whatever. I recorded Echoes from the Burning Bush. Wow. Wow. Yeah, boy. You are, you are one that, of those, you like a challenge? That, would that took be, some doing. Would that be honest to say yeah, about yeah, you? Yeah, you could, you could say that, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. He likes a challenge, but he is also a crazy perfectionist. And so I have lots of bloopers because he'd go, uh-uh, 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 <laughs> don't, you, don't, uh-uh. Nope, scratch that. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't scratch any of no, y'all. No. I've got it all. <laughs> so, so, so when he's dead and gone, I will be yeah. <laughs> bloopering it out there. That'll be your hush money one of these yeah. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But one of these things about your music is you learn, and, and like, how long have you played with Mitchell? 20 something years, oh, 30 yeah, years? Oh, Lord, we've played a long time ago. Me and Jeff played a lot together, too. This Tracy guy's new, but I like Tracy. And, and that's what it takes a combination. A combination of everything getting it right, and it takes some practice, and yeah. it takes some doing over. And yeah. he said, "We got to practice tonight." And I said, "What you practicing for? You play all the time. Why are you practicing? But Polishing. you still, yeah, you still like to practice. Yeah. So, so we're going to take you now to somebody who <clears throat> he's going to lead us in with some live uh, little picking. But we're going to go to John Denver, and I don't think John Denver oh. ever had to practice, and I think you'll you'll think that too. Here we go. Yeah, we'll do one for Gern here. It's. Uh... Dusty painted on the 
We were talking about the song Country Roads. You just did the John Denver song. I can remember, it's a wonder I didn't end up in prison over this, that white 66 Chevelle with that 396 leaving Jasper. Now think about this. 515 didn't exist. Yeah. Going up Old Five past our favorite place, which might be the Rebel Inn. Flying. Played there many, many, many times. Flying and having yes. just a great moment of music. Mm -hmm. The music, the motor, the car. Was the it time. like this with you? I had one of those too. I had a 66 Chevelle Super Sport 396 <laughs> Rabbit Ear 4 Speed 375 horsepower. Mine was automatic. And I had a real good sound system in it. And was it like this with you? Uh -huh. If a good song comes uh -huh. on, <laughs> get in that four barrel. <laughs> It's a wonder we're still here. Yeah, it's a wonder we're not in jail. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but you know, when, when I did that, there was no 515, and I still do the old road, and people make fun of me. Like Evelyn was with me Saturday, and she's like, where are we going, what are we doing? <laughs> I always take the old road. And I said, I'm taking you to see you my, my favorite building with the pink marble, and I would love to have this building. <clears throat> There's so many great memories on old Highway 5. And the one thing I love about it now, I think I met seven cars on Saturday. Seven cars. I know. And 515 know. was full of crazy people. Yeah. So, you know, get over it, people. Get, But don't don't, don't tell anybody about 515. I about know, they'll five. all be over Yeah, there. they'll be over I love 05. They'll be on our road. I used Electroglide down Old Highway 5 real mm -hmm. slow in the evenings. And the thing about 5 is there's lots of trees, so it's shady. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So on a motorcycle, it's even more better. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes. Okay, we talked a little bit about the instruments that you can play. I can't believe you can't play a fiddle. That That's very, very weird <clears> to me, but I, I kind of get it because that's that's not quite. Can you play a banjo? Yep, a little bit. I, well, I can't play a banjo, but I can make you think I can. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and when you decide to do steel on one of your songs and you lied about it, tell me Straight were you feeling lied. confident about yourself? Is that you were a little bit cocky on that one? Well, I don't know. Because you Who's said people say? didn't Who brag. Who really knows? They didn't brag on if you told them it was you. I know. Yeah. yeah. So you decided. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I told them I played the steel, they'd be, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. But if I said some tricky dick Nashville guy did it, oh, now that fella can play steel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know who you are, too. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, we have more, people have more fun than anybody, don't they? When you sat down to the steel, did you actually know what you were doing? Or no. did you just pick it out? No. No. Had to work for it. There's a lot going on with the steel. But the good news is, see, it tunes sort of like a guitar. So I had a, I had an, I had an advantage on it to start with. Those pedals and the knee levers and all that. And, and people don't get it because it's like triple dipping. I mean, it you got really to keep yeah. the rhythm going three different yeah, ways. Lord yeah, Lord have mercy. Yeah. Yeah. 
What about, is it still a dying art? Are people coming along and Lord, learning no, it? it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I still have mine. I got it. It's a showbud Lloyd G. Green signature, and Lloyd signed it. Wow. Wow. Every steel player that comes to my house goes, I want to buy that. I want to <laughs> buy that. No, 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 yeah. not for sale. Out of all your guitars, what's your absolute favorite? My favorite guitar that I own? Mm -hmm. Well, I have a Gibson ES-335. It's a blonde, quilted maple. And I've had it since 98, and I love that guitar. For rock and roll, I love that guitar. It's on the, the, the ball hooting record. And uh, for country, I love my Telecaster. It's a Jerry Donahue signature uh, built at the custom plant. Have we already said this? I don't know. Mm -mm, no. But no. Uh, <clears throat> it's, it's a real, it's what bird's eye the... maple, uh, tobacco, no, not tobacco. It's bird's eye maple, Sunburst. What about the Merle Haggard guitar? How'd oh, I you have end up one with that one? You know what's weird about <clears> that? <throat> that guitar is probably worth no telling what. He signed that guitar for me and he designed it and it's, it's called a custom plant piece as well and it was built in Corona, California and Merle walked through the, the factory and pointed out what he, how he thought a guitar should be uh, built and they did it. And you know, it's, it's a fine guitar. It sounds good. I actually used it on Punkin Center. But uh, the, to be honest, it's not my favorite guitar to wow. play. It's probably one of the most expensive ones I have, but it's, it's not my favorite guitar to play. But it's, it's fine. I'm just saying, you know, the Jerry Donahue suits me better. Everybody's different. Merle's a little bitty guy. He had little bitty hands, you know. Wow. And I'm, I'm, I'm uh, <coughs> I got bigger. long fingers, and the guitar don't suit me as well as it did him, but I'm sure proud to have it. And its name is Miss Audrey, <laughs> named after that. my mommy. Oh, I love that. Yep. Okay, well, we have another song we're going to share, and it is a Merle Haggard song. And um, it's one of those, a lot of people have sung it, a lot of people have recorded it, but it was one of his old, one of his favorites, one of his best. And you've been doing it for a long time, somewhere between your heart and mine. Yeah, Lord, I used to sing it when I was little, too. And, and that's one of those forever songs that's been around. Yeah. It's been re-recorded, remastered. Everybody's done it. But it just always, we go back to how did Merle do it? Yeah. And he was, he was on top of it. Oh, yeah. He was on top of Let it. Let me say this about these two songs, the John Denver uh, uh, Country, Country Roads, Roads and this song you're about to hear. I guess we're about to play mm -hmm, it. Is that mm -hmm. right? It's a laid back thing. We just It's just all laid back. If you'll notice, you mus musicians, if you'll notice, I got my guitar tuned down. <laughs> and it's laid back. It's just yeah. all laid back and just, a, just a, a watered down version of it. It might have had more energy, but not that day. Yeah, yeah, that was the day. <clears throat> and, and it's interesting because um, there are so many songs like this that people just enjoy listening to. I know. It's not, we don't want to dance to it. We don't want, we just want to hear it. We want to hear a little guitar. Listen and to a little those bit words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. here we go. We're going to go now to somewhere between your heart and mine. And it was made famous by Merle Haggard, but it was made more famous by this guy, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're going to lead us out with something like that. Yeah, you want to hear? What do you want to hear? I don't care. How about you, Wildwood Flower? That sounds good. Dedicate this to all you pumpkin center people.
talking about Ella J with our viewers on YouTube and let's talk a little bit about old Ella J the pool room what amazing place oh boy spent a lot of time in that place and other places as a child that you remember that the new folks won't ever get to experience folks listen to me do you remember going to Benny Bryant's uh, it's called Jules Grocery Benny Bryant run the place Brian is actually the proper uh, pronunciation for that but there was Benny's, go down to Benny's and get something, you know, get candy, whatever. And uh, Robert Worley's food store, that was the fancy place. Oh. Oh, it was fancy in there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was real fancy in Robert <coughs> Worley's food store. Oh. But Benny Bryant's and Penland's Grocery, all these places, Reese's and uh, places we went to. And oh, my, oh gosh, oh, I left out my most favorite place ever. What? The Western Auto. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, where they sold guitars. I couldn't guitars. wait to go to town and, and go get to go. Mom and Daddy go to Penland's to get some stuff, and I'd cross the street to the Western Auto and buy bicycle parts. <laughs> I love it. I love <clears throat> and, it. Uh, I talked Daddy into buying me something every Saturday up there uh, that we went to the, at the Western Auto. One day, out there behind Reese's, we had gone to Reese's that day, and Daddy was sitting in a 57 Chevrolet station wagon, brown and white, and I, with my foot propped up on the rocker arm, rocker panel of that, I'm sorry, yeah, the rocker panel, I talked him slap in to buying me a brand new bicycle <laughs> at the Western Auto that day, 1966. Oh, wow. Well. Boy, Spoiled rotten boy. What a day. I remember that one. <laughs> oh, you know, when we look back on those memories to capture them, and, and you, we were teasing about you and Margie. You really are getting on her case because what a memory to have her singing with you at some point in your life. I know. You know, that'll be something that is just amazing. We just have to make this happen, Auntie. We do, we do. We're and and do I think this. we can do it. I think yes. between what we have here and I got new mics today, I, I think know. we're going to make it happen. We won't bring you in the studio and no, scare no, you no, to no, death no. with all this no, technology. No. no, no. We'll just do it in the living room. That's more or better anyway. It That's has right. a nice feel to it. Now, that woman can sing. You better yes. be ready. This yes. girl can yes. sing. Yes, yes. I can't wait. I'm excited. I think it's. Just a precious memory. Just something yes. that you, you can never recreate. It's like your mama's gone and her sister's gone and and y'all are still here, so why I not know. capture the moment? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very important. Now what would be one of her favorite songs to do? Oh Lord. Probably in heaven we'll never grow old. 
and there's there's tons, but uh, over in the glory land, uh, where the soul never dies. Oh, all good songs. Oh, yeah. yeah it, it goes yeah. on and on. She knows them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to have to nail her. Do you think we could just sit her down and nail her to a chair and say, Auntie, please sing? I'd like to tell you I can straighten that girl out and whip her into shape if I need to, but the fact is... You can't. <laughs> she does the straightening and she does the whipping. And you just accept But I'm working it. on it. I'm there working on it. Go. There you go. There you go. Today has been a fun day. It's been an inspirational day for so many people who the families are still here, even though a lot of the musicians we talked about today are gone. You know, when Ralph Chancey lost his life and, and his battle, that's that's just forever away. I know. But there are so many amazing moments, and ETC has captured many of those moments. So please watch on Saturday nights. I love to watch our old programming because you will catch an old heart fund. You will catch the uh, Davis brothers. And, you know, Larry died suddenly from surgery. And just, it's just, we have these things captured. And I think people need to understand how important that is. Yeah, Larry Davis. Lord, what a loss. What a good guy. Mm. What a good, good guy. Talk about burying a lot of knowledge we did that day. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, we want to remind y'all, once again, you are invited, each and every one of you, I invited to stop by. We're right across the street from the Ace Hardware in LJ, and on July the 4th, beginning at 5 p.m., we're just going to have a good old music and just making memories. We're going to be making some amazing memories. We're going to have some food, some refreshments, giveaways. The Dairy Queen is providing us lots of ice cream coupons so everybody can go get an ice cream and a sausage biscuit. And if you have not checked out the Dairy Queen lately, Please check them out because they have their new and fabulous good old homemade biscuits back and everything is wonderful with their breakfast. So check them out and tell AJ and every, the whole gang thank you because they keep their staff in there. You know, during times when you couldn't hire a staff, he's worked hard to do that. Yes. So. And now, we're going to have some interesting antique classic automobiles. We are. At our grand our, uh, open, open house, house too. Yep. And let's go to YouTube and check out, because I went to 57 Heaven and I filmed about 15 minutes of this gentleman explaining to me about why you don't have a 396 in your building. And I'm still really confused about why there's no 396 in his building, but there's a lot of other really cool engines, including the 351. This Freeland. lady don't understand. <laughs> If you put a 396 in a 57 Ford, it ain't gonna work. you would be crucified. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna I would work. be dead. He would be dead. My people would not have that in a million years. That's right. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Tell me quick history about the song that we're going to leave them with today, the Christmas song. The Christmas song. Well, I, I, I wrote it when I was on duty again. Mm -hmm. I may have to get back on the police force so I can <laughs> yeah. write some songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh... I wrote it when I was on duty, and uh, it just came, I swear. You really couldn't call me a songwriter. It just comes to me. It just comes, and I sit down and write it. And uh, made it up about the old bridge up there. Some of it was made up about the old man on the bridge, and some of it I lived it, I tell you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I love that song. I do. It's, it's a sad one. But, you know, if you really listen to it, it's it's sad the police man is not exactly in a happy place either mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. listen to the words yep. for the so the ones that have their family <coughs> can be home on christmas eve mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's not too happy so he worked and then he so everybody could be with their families and now he's under the bridge with an old guy who also don't have anybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. Listen to it, folks. Listen to the words. We're going to leave you now with some very special music. Sit down and just listen to every single word and know that you are blessed. I'm blessed. You're blessed. We're all so blessed to be in the life, in the time, in the moment that we are in. And uh, just sit back and enjoy a little bit more of Mr. Ella J. <laughs> down, but none of whom were mine. So I told the captain, I'll just work a double, I believe, so the ones that have their families can be home on Christmas Eve. I'm a police man in Georgia, and a young one, by the way. Silver bells, shotgun shells, 
in a four-door Chevrolet. The weatherman says snow tonight, and no one should be out. Slim left word to park the cruiser and patrol in my old scout. Barely just into the night, as the snow came falling down, dispatch come on with a call to the bridge just north of town. The call came from a payphone. They said they saw a light. As I approached, an old guitar was ringing through the night. There beneath the steel and stone, on a worn-out sleeping bag, an old man sat there all alone, humming one by hand. The fire lit up his tired old face, his eyes shining in the light. He said, Lieutenant, I guess I'm out of place, but I'll just be here for tonight. Dispatch come back on the air. Is everything 10-4? I told him I'd be there a couple of minutes more. I said that old Gibson sounded fine. He said it's all that's left that I call mine. It's been with me since 1954. I had a loving family, but the Lord, he needed them more than me. New Year's Eve, 1967. It seems like only yesterday, but it was long ago and far away. I'm on the road, and they're all up in heaven. He said, anyway, I can't play like before. My fingers don't work good anymore. If you'll let me stay here just tonight, I'll be gone by morning light. I stood a block of wood up on its end, and he handed me his only friend. I sat down there by the fire, and I played that old man's heart's desire. As he lay back there on his sack, I played the one about the Cadillac, and I watched him as he drifted off to sleep. I put his old guitar to bed, jumped his fire in my head. A scene played out that I will always keep. Be careful how you treat them all. You never know when you might fall and need someone to show a little love. Or even in just what disguise something opens up your eyes or when you'll have a visit from somewhere up above two c's ten eight merry christmas lj